Hey folks, we're going to do a classic working backwards problem in normal distributions. Here, a particular fruit, its weights are normally distributed with a mean of 744 grams and a standard deviation of 6 grams. The heaviest 11% of fruits weigh more than how many grams? So this is working backwards in the sense that we are given a percentage or a probability, but we want to find the corresponding weight for that area under the normal curve. If we were to draw a picture, what this might look like is normal curve, mean of 744, x is our variable, and we want to identify the area. Now it says greater than, so we want to identify the tick mark that corresponds to this 11%. So our solution is actually going to be a tick mark right here. One thing that we can anticipate is that this is going to be greater than the mean. You will notice I have the z-score formula already written, and we know the mean, we know the standard deviation, so we are going to be able to plug those directly in. What we really want to solve for is x. We actually are given information to plug in a value for z. What we want to do is find the z-score that corresponds to this upper 11%. Since we know that the upper 11 percentile is what is desired, we want to consider what's the area to the left of this tick mark. Since the total area is a 1, the area to the left of our desired tick mark is a 0.89. We want to consider the left-sided area because we are working with the z-table and the z-table is structured to provide probabilities to the left of a desired tick mark. We will want to look up 0.89 in the body of the z-score table. Let's take a look. So here is our z-score table, and right now it's on the negative side. We want to go over to the side that contains positive z-scores and find all up in the mess as close as we can to 0.89. Now I'm looking and I have found a couple candidates right here. These are the two values, one, are, one is slightly above and one is slightly above, below 0.89, but certainly the one on the right side is just a hair closer. So we want to isolate this location on the z-table, and what is the corresponding z-score? Because it's in this row, that means it is z-score 1.23. This row and this column indicate the z-score is 1.23. Now that we have our z-score of 1.23, we can plug that z-score in along with mu and sigma, and we'll be able to solve for x. So z equals x minus mu over sigma, plugging in the known z-value, solving for x by plugging in our other known values. Multiplying both sides by 6 results in the left-hand side being 7.38, and we've got x minus 744. Adding 744 to both sides gives us the solution of 751.38. Looking at the picture that we have sketched, hopefully that makes reasonable sense 
that this would be a, a value of number of grams slightly above the mean. And if I wanted to write this probability statement in its full glory, I would write 751.38 grams here. Let's type this into our homework to make sure it is correct. Since the homework is requesting the answer to the nearest gram, I have rounded this to 751 grams.